Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a makeup haul and I feel like I blacked out a little bit really. I have a lot of stuff. I got quite a bit of makeup. I went shopping at Ulta, Sephora, I did a Morphe order and then I also went to CVS because I don't, I don't really use too many drugstore products on my channel but I wanted to do like a 100% drugstore makeup tutorial so I picked up a bunch of things for that so hopefully those products will work out so if you want to see what I got from my makeup haul <laughs> then just keep watching one pathetic little Ulta bag I literally just got this I just had to pick up another one of my L'Oreal brow stylist definers because I ran out of my other one and I need my eyebrows hello I do use the one that's in the shade brunette I love these. This has to be my fifth or sixth one of these. They're just so good and so cheap. All right, so moving on to the second Ulta bag. I'm just going to reach in and pull things out. So the first thing I picked up is from It Cosmetics, and this is the Confidence in Your Glow Skin Transforming Healthy Flush Blushing Bronzer. And this one is in the shade Instant Warm Glow. This is a pretty new product. Um, I think they just came out with this, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And then this is what the actual packaging looks like. I think this is really cute. It's kind of like an ombre. Maybe you can, I think you can see it better from here. And then the little It Cosmetics tab just lifts up and you get a mirror on the top. And then this is what the inside looks like. So it is like an ombre kind of product. So you have your bronzer, a blush, and then a highlight. You can use everything individually or you can swirl everything all together if that's something that you want to do. I think this is so pretty. My friend uh, picked this up the same time I did and she has used hers already and the highlight that she had on, I was like, oh my god. Let's swatch this and see what it looks like. Some finger swatches. Let's see what they look like on the hand. And that is everything on my hand. I am excited to try this out on my skin and see how everything performs because of course you can't always tell much from just a finger swatch. So I picked this up. This is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen Glow Face Palette which is beautiful. It's this beautiful rose gold packaging with gold lettering on the front. Oh and it comes with a little sample of the First Light Priming Filter. Oh I want to try this. This is that purple one isn't it? Yes it is. This is what the actual packaging looks like. There's a little protective cover over it but it's so pretty. It almost looks like a pink and sand kind of marble color. This is like a heavy duty case. It does remind me a lot of the Jaclyn Hill uh, palette. A huge, huge mirror which actually is a really great quality and lets me know that my under eyes look really gross. <laughs> but then the start of the show is this bottom section here. So you get this pink blush, which is called Hibiscus Bloom. You get the highlighter that is already in the Becca line. It's the rose gold highlighter right here. You get a bronzer in the shade Malibu Soleil. And then you also get the new highlighter right here, which is called Beach Nectar. So let me just see what these look like. So these are the swatches. This is Malibu Soleil. This one is the rose gold highlighter. This one is Hibiscus Bloom. And then this one right here on the end, which is so beautiful, is Beach Nectar. Oof. That is so pretty. So pretty, especially if you have a medium skin tone or if you have any kind of a tan. Mm. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I did run out of my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, which is just the brow mascara. So I picked up another one and this is in the medium to dark shade. So it just adds a tiny bit of color to the brows. And then of course keeps everything in place throughout the day. I picked up another L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. Mine... Is definitely at the end the current one that I have actually it's like my eyes have been bothering me all day and I swear it's because crumbles are just falling off into my eye so if I'm blinking excessively it's probably because it's driving me insane but I love this stuff this makes my lashes dark and long which is exactly what I want 
So if you have not tried this one, go check it out. If you saw my video with the face masks, the Tony Moly one, um, I mentioned that I had just gotten my acrylic nails taken off and they are, my nails are so paper thin and they hurt so bad because they're just so short and thin and weak. So I picked up a nail hardener. This is from the brand Nail Tech. It looks like that. And this is for weak damaged nails and it is an extra strength hardener. Hopefully this hardens my nails because um, they hurt. The poor little babies, they hurt so bad. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why I did this, but I don't own a single orange lipstick or even anything that I feel like is even remotely orange. And I've really been wanting to try out an orange lipstick. So L'Oreal, or yeah, L'Oreal was having a sale, like buy two, get one free. So I, this was my one that I chose for free. This is one of the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints, and this one is in number 322 Orange Envy. I don't think this is like a liquid lipstick or anything like that, but it has a little doe foot applicator. Let's see what this looks like. I couldn't swatch it, so I don't even know what this looks like, but it looks vibrant. I figured, you know, something in like a gloss-ish form would maybe be a little less terrifying than just a straight like, orange lipstick, but ooh, that is orange. I don't know. I just really want to know what an orange lipstick would look like on me. So I picked this one up and then this one was on clearance from Rimmel and it is number 620 Call Me Crazy and it's from their line of the only one lipsticks. So let's see what this one looks like. To me, well, maybe not so much in the viewfinder, but this one, which is the Rimmel one, in person looks a little more almost pink, but then when I'm looking in the viewfinder, it's definitely orange. Either way, I think these are gonna be so fun, and I figured this was like $3, so even if I hate it and decide I don't ever wanna wear orange ever again, it's not like I really paid for it, and same thing with this, it was, what I told myself I got for free. We'll see what happens. I thought those would look really cool if I used like the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette and then used the orange lipstick. I just couldn't control myself with lip products, which is just so funny to me because I never used to enjoy wearing lipsticks, but I freaking love the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lipsticks. To me, they're not like a full on liquid lipstick. I mean, they, they're super pigmented, they are hydrating, they smell incredible, but they don't dry down completely and they are definitely not transfer proof. But they, I think, came out with these new colors because I've never seen these before and they were on a different display. And when I saw these, oh, this is what the packaging looks like. This is the red one, which is called VIP, and then this one is more, I would say, almost like strawberry-ish. This one is called Juicy. Oh. These colors just speak to my soul. So this one, the really, really red one, is called a VIP. And then this one, the more almost like pink, coral, strawberry kind of a shade, this one is juicy. All right, so the last thing that I got from Ulta, because I do want to film a full face using only drugstore makeup, um, and I don't really like drugstore eyeshadows to be honest. I haven't really found anything that I personally really enjoy. Um, so I was just kind of walking around trying to find something that I could use when I stumbled upon this, which I totally forgot. This is the brand new Carly Bible palette, the deluxe edition. This huge palette was $22.50. It looks exactly like her original one, just a little bit bigger. And you open it up, and it has a mirror on the top, and then it says Aspire to Inspire, and it's like this marble packaging on the inside. So you have all of your eyeshadows up here, and then your highlight shades. I think these two were the more popular ones from her original palette. Not all these shades are new, some of them are repeats, but I figured that I could use this for my all drugstore makeup look because I don't really have anything else 
like eyeshadow wise from the drugstore that I really like very much. Next, we'll move on to Sephora. This first product is nothing new. It's definitely been out for a while. I've seen so many people use it, but I just, the price, I just couldn't bring myself to buy it. I just keep seeing so many videos using this product and everyone's skin looks so good that I had to try it. I caved and I picked up one of the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Sticks. I picked mine up in the shade Warm Ivory. I I look tan. I mean, I I have a tan, but like not really anymore because I haven't been out in the sun in what feels like a month. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what shade I am. And since I'm going in for surgery, I won't be in the sun even more. So I figure I'm probably going to get a little pale. So I felt like this shade might work for me the best. In case you haven't seen it, it's a stick foundation with a triangular shape, which is nice because you can kind of, you know, get it in the small areas and a little bit goes a long way. So I cannot wait to try this. We'll see if the color works. I will let you guys know. I'll definitely use this in a video. And this, oh my God, I'm so excited. Actually, I was surprised. So I really, really wanted to try out the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the new blush trios. And I was really drawn to the, I think it was called Peachy Love. And then um, Pink Passion was the other one. I mean, really, I love blush. I would have tried all of them, but when I actually was able to touch them in the stores, I was actually not really that impressed with a lot of them. So I only ended up getting one. So I picked up Pink Passion. So the little box just looks like this and it tells you what the shades are on top. But there's like little teeny tiny ABH symbols all over it. Super cool, I love this. Again, the back shows you the name of what the blushes are open it up and you do have a little mirror on the top and then these are the three shades that are in the pink passion trio so this shade right here is called basically the middle shade is called sugar and then this shade right here is called rose this specific trio when I swatched it. It just looked so beautiful. These are definitely colors that I use so I figured I would test these out. So let me show you what they look like. Actually I enjoy the fact that they are pigmented but like not too much. So these are the three shades on my fingers. These are them swatched. So this one is basically sugar and rose. So I cannot wait to test these out on my skin and see what they look like. Um, I think that they're going to work really well because they're not too overly pigmented that, you know, you're going to pick up too much product and look like a clown. So I can't wait to test those out. Okay. Oh my God. So excited for this next thing. When I first saw the images for this, I was like, I need it. But then I was like, do you really? No, you don't. You don't. No, you don't. Then I saw everyone doing YouTube videos about it. And then I was like, no, I have to have it. I, I absolutely must have this. I finally got the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Oh, I'm so excited. Like this, this is like my dream. So someone was saying that the way that this packaging is set up is to kind of look, um, like a little matchbox. Oh my god, I haven't even opened this yet, but whew, this is so beautiful. And then the inside has little matches. So cute. Oh, this is so pretty. I absolutely love this so much. Oh, I, could, I could just stare at this. Mm, okay, let's open it up. Oh yeah. So of course, just like any naked palette comes with your huge mirror on top and it does come with a double ended brush and we'll see how that works. And then I'm sure you've seen this already, but this is what the palette looks like on the inside. These tones are mostly amber hued, like really warm, fiery kind of colors. Oh, I cannot wait to try this out. 
I swatched some of these in the store, like three of them, and I barely put my finger on it and so much pigmentation came off. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you can only use this for a really dramatic makeup look or whatever. Well, guess what? My middle name is Drama. So I'm gonna use this all the time. Let's move on to some drugstore stuff. So I went to CVS. I didn't get too much, I don't think. I did pick up two more loofahs because that's just what Doug and I like to use in the shower and we like to replace them because I know they can get pretty gross. So for my, what I'm hoping to be all drugstore makeup tutorial, I wanted to pick out a lip color. So this is the Wet n Wild liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Nudist Peach. Oh, that's a really pretty color. So that is Nudist Peach. I mean, just from swatching it on my hand, I think that this might be a little streaky, but like for a drugstore, I've heard really good things about these. And I think that'll be a really nice color that can go, especially with the Carly Bible palette. I think this will look really well with those colors. I've been wanting to try these for so long and I just, I never make it to the drugstore mostly because I hate driving. So um, I picked up two of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundations. I have heard nothing but great things about these. I'm super intrigued by the applicator that comes with this. Um, it's like a, a paddle, which I think is actually super nice for putting foundation on your face. I picked up two colors because I wasn't sure which one I would be. Okay, so this one is buff bisque and I love that on the bottle they actually say like kind of what the under undertone is so this is a light medium neutral foundation I typically always get neutral undertone foundations uh, cream beige is a medium neutral foundation shade these I will definitely be testing out in my drugstore video I cannot wait to see what they look like and then the last thing that I picked up was the wet n wild uh, photo focus concealer and then the grand finale, which I'm sure all of you can already assume what I purchased. I have a package from Morphe. I am dying. Oh my God. Cannot wait to open this up. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at it. I was so afraid when this was delivered because the top of my box is like, it looks like someone just karate chopped it. But it, it does come with like a ton of bubble wrap in here which is good so the first thing that i picked up actually was the uh morphe flawless beauty sponge because i've seen so many people talking about how good this is i picked up the bundle that had the bronzed mocha and copper spice like you could just get two of them and it was a little bit cheaper they come bubble wrapped on the inside as well so there's a lot of protection in the boxes so hopefully nothing gets broken or smashed and you know what i have never tried any makeup from Morphe. I've only tried their brushes. So I can't wait to just see how these perform because a lot of people have a lot of opinions about Morphe. So this is the bronzed mocha palette, which is the more cool toned palette, which looks like this. Definitely, definitely cool toned. And like I said, you get 25 shades in here. And the other one, which I'm sure will end up being my favorite, this one is Copper Spice, which is the more warm-toned palette. If you want to see either of these in a video, like if there's one specifically that you're more interested in, let me know, and I will definitely do a video. Um, I don't normally do cool-toned looks, so I actually think that I may use the more cool-toned palette first. I mean, come on, you guys already saw this coming a mile away. You knew that this is what the entire video was going to be all about. Look at this. Ugh. It's beautiful and I can't wait. I can't wait to open this. So this is what the back looks like, your pictures of Jacqueline. Um, she just has like a little message to everyone back here. She's my queen. I mean, even if this palette sucks, I don't care because I love her so much. And even though I haven't physically purchased any Morphe products before, I know that most of their palettes are like those black case, like black plastic cases. Um, this is, 
definitely cardboard. It feels pretty heavy. It has the beautiful reflective Jaclyn Hill signature and then Morphe and then on the back it says Morphe X Jaclyn Hill with little JHs all over it. Look at them. Look at these. I want to touch one. Which one should I touch? I'm going to touch that one. Ooh. Off the bat, just touching those two. I'm not saying these are the best quality sh shadows I've ever used in my life, but Jaclyn Hill, like I said, is my queen and I really don't care. This could be a palette of dog shit and I would love it. No, I wouldn't, but you know what I mean. You all have those YouTubers that you love. Don't lie. I wish the sun, <laughs> wish the sun would come out, but I think it's about to rain. So, it's probably about time for me to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching my, what feels like, a very long makeup haul. If there are any products that you would like further reviews on, if you want tutorials, if you want to see them used in videos, just let me know. You can send me emails, you can contact me in the comments down below. However you want to get a hold of me is perfectly fine. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!